<laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, I guess you all know uh, this is the last one, so most of you are probably related to us anyway. So. We're all going through uh, a lot of emotions, all of them sad. Um, and uh, it's, it's hard because you, you keep telling yourself, okay, obviously we're sad, it's ending, we're gonna be sad. We saw the Friends people talking about it, they're sad. We know it's not like it's a surprise to us, but it's surprisingly hard to keep from being emotional. You're sort of ready for the big, oh, we're gonna read the last episode, that's gonna be hard. Well, we know it's gonna be hard and there's gonna be a lot of crying. But then uh, you're just standing on the set and for no reason you look at, you know, a light and you think, oh, I'll never see that light again. <laughs> the most unexpected thing will set us off, you know. Um, just a little reminder of something that happened in the past or we'll just, you know, catch each other's eyes and we're gone. And... But I think we're going to make a pact, like, for that last episode. We're going to hold it together because we all want to do the best possible episode of Frasier we can. I'm still probably more than anybody else in a, in a state of denial. I just don't, I don't think about it. Every once in a while it pops in there, like I was getting made up last night and the makeup guy said, well, just three more, and my stomach just did this huge lurch and then slammed the door down and, uh, and just, I just refused to think about it. Never shared this with you before, Knight. So brace yourself. Two years ago, Roz and I slept together. Get out, you and Roz? <laughs> It's actually kind of wonderful. It's a very rich time, and, and as some of us have said, it makes it feel very much like it's the first show as well as the last show because you see things with a kind of vividness that, that we did when it was fresh. Uh, we're just so emotional. We're not even human. We just are a bundle of emotions right now. And that's the part that we're all struggling with the most is just not having the daily contact with each other. And, you know, even on the long hiatus, because you're off three and a half months a year, you kind of save this one for, oh, I'll tell that when I get back. I mean, you know, the first day back at work is like the first day back at school. You know, you sit around and tell everyone what you did this summer. If you haven't seen each other all summer, you know, we always go see John do a play or Jane do a play or David do a play or me do a play. I mean, we always keep in touch during the summer, have dinners and, but now we'll just have a long summer, so we'll have to... I, I know we'll keep in touch. Frazier, I'm so sorry about that. No, it's my fault. I never should have let you in. <laughs> Am I emotional? Well, my emotions, you know, creep up on me once in a while. Uh, I think it's more laudable to actually get through it and, and do it well and, you know, rise to the occasion. And then we can collapse all we want to. We can fall apart at the end of the show. We can fall apart, actually, even on the night of the show, as long as we finish shooting it. And then, then we can fall apart all we want to. We got a week after that to recover. We're gonna go away together with all of us, and we can commiserate then and uh, face the future. Dad. Hey, do you want to join us for lunch? We're trying a new Indonesian place. It's famous for its bezinging daking. I think I can say without being conceited that the show will really have a long legacy because it's been on so long. And if I'm on a plane and catch one of the early episodes or I'm flipping channels and catch one in syndication, they so hold up. And they are not bound by their time. They weren't written with specific current events in mind or anything like that. It's a kind of writing and a kind of humor and uh, a group of characters that I think people will be able to come back to long after we're gone. Oh, oh, no, no, hey, what about me? Oh, have a banana. Oh. <laughs> My God, what was that? I think the banana went off. <laughs> I think we raised the bar totally on television comedy. Uh, I think I, I think that we always set out to do, and which we have always done, is, is respect our audience and always know that we don't never to talk down to them, but anything we put out there, they will get. And I think audiences, with our show more than any other, knew that, knew that that uh, that we respected them and, and we always played up to them. And uh, and I think that's. I hope that's our, our greatest legacy. It is to me. You know, I know why she's not calling me back. She just doesn't know how to tell me she's dropping me for Richard. Who said anything about dropping you? No one, apparently, or you would have overheard it. The legacy of the show in the end will be the most intelligent, continuingly funny show ever on television. 
I really, truly believe that um, this is one of the great shows that will, you know, and I think it will have a long, long life. It's always been uncompromising in its writing and its characters and its excellence and, you know, I think it's a classic. There she is. Now, I gotta warn you, Doc, she's uh, in an eel chair way. <laughs> Does her handicap preclude her from understanding Pig Latin? <laughs> There's definitely theater in the future, probably Broadway. I think that's probably sooner than later, because it's always great to get that muscle kind of re enervated you know, energized, you know. The company that I started several years ago is, is producing some things, and I'll, I'll still play my my distant role of uh, overseeing some of that, and uh, maybe I'll pick up uh, the gauntlet there and have a little more input, that kind of thing. I love working, so I mean, I, I'd love to work. Every actor thinks they'll never work again, so I'm going through all those jitters and everything else, but more television. I've had such a great experience in television, and um, film work is great, whatever, you know. I'm going to uh, take time when this is over. Uh, I need I need time to be depressed, and I need time to recharge, and time to sort of have a clear head to think what the next step is. Oh, is your wrist still bothering you, dear? Oh, just a little flare-up. Oh, poor thing slept on it funny. Woke up screaming like a dying rabbit. <laughs> The thing that is making this a lot easier for me as well as having children and, you know, to, to enjoy my time as a mum and just focus on that, just to be able to focus on that for a while would be wonderful. I would certainly not say no to going back into some sort of, you know, television. I'd love to go and do theatre. There's so many things I'd like to do, you know, but hopefully, uh, hopefully will present themselves. You know, I, really, one thing that happens is you lose touch with your friends a little bit because your schedule's so erratic and so kind of, and so I really, there's so many friends that I would love to just sit down and have lunch with or a nice long dinner with and catch up and find out what's been going on. Really, not just the surface stuff underneath. We've only got one day more to go. We can't crack now when we're this close to victory. All right, everyone, take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I'm looking forward to is just uh, taking it easy. I'm 63 now. By the time I get through doing my plays, I'll be 65. I just want to take it easy. I have, I have a little house in Wisconsin uh, that I hardly ever get to, and my pontoon on the lake there, and uh, just like to bob around on the lake and play a little music and go to a few ball games and basically take it easy. Oh. Here to pick up a chair. Right, it's right there. I'm sorry I'm late. That's all right. Been waiting long? 11 years. <laughs> this is a question that I keep being asked, and I, I can't come up with a snappy cut. I mean, I'd really like the chair, but I'm sure everybody wants the chair. I don't know. I'm sure I'll just grab something, if not a lot of things. I'm kind of a grabby person. <laughs> David Hyde Pierce, I'm going to take him home with me. <laughs> just pack him up, stick him in a bag. Kelsey Jane Perry. And John. Dad, where are your pants? In the fridge. <laughs> I had a reason. Fridge pants. I like that couch, actually. <laughs> that nice suede couch. That's rather lovely, but I don't know if I could get that out the door without them noticing. People keep asking that. I think they're going to lock it all up and not let us get near it. I, I, you know, I mean, uh, these kind of things. Uh, take on a kind of historical value once you're, you've been a part of the American culture that may end up somewhere, you know I mean? So I think they're gonna pretty much lock it up. Imagine yourselves winning. Imagine yourselves in Vegas. I'm still hungry. <laughs> I understand that Cheers, they broke this, the Cheers set down from this stage and took it to the Smithsonian. I haven't heard any talk about this one going there. Well, you know what, it's a great example of architectural integrity, or at least interior design, and, uh, and how it integrates into a show and almost is a character in the show. And uh, for that, it may be historically significant. Hey, Frazier, Dad and Ronnie are joining us for dinner. Why don't you two come along? Well, actually, guys, I'm planning a, a bit of an intimate evening myself. Really? She wants me. 
Are you sure? You said that last week about the cable lady, and she just had something in her eye. I want to take my dressing room key. It's just something that I've uh, had every single day and used every single day, and and uh, and uh, that's all it is. It's just a dressing room key. But I, I've got dressing room keys from other places that meant a lot to me, Lincoln Center when I was uh, um, doing a play and, and on Broadway, and I've got five or six keys that are that I, and that's what I'm going to take. You know, there's too many things to mention. You know, it's. I mean, if you could just bottle the atmosphere and take it home, or, you know, that would be the thing. I'll tell you what, don't go without taking some of these eclairs with you. I'm on TV next week. The only thing worse than them going to waste would be seeing them go to my waste. <laughs> <laughs> what? Does it mean you're really leaving? What will I ever do without you? I'm going to miss the uh, my friends, Perry and David and John and Kelsey and the laughs we have and the, you know, there's always someone here to bounce something off. You know, one of us will come in and say, well, what do you think? You know, and I'm like, I said to David yesterday, can I call you for stuff like that? <laughs> and that set us both off again, you know. It's so hard to plan anything or think about it. And, and I'm, I really want to enjoy every second of this. And and believe me, it's, I mean, we're, it, it, it's packed. There's something all the time. So I can't really imagine it right now. I can't imagine life after Frasier right now. <laughs> You're the sweetest, most wonderful. It's okay, Roz. He's not going till next week. Let her talk, Dad. <laughs> I'm gonna miss everybody. Not, not, not just the cast. I mean, we're, we're as close as you can get, but also the crew. I mean, we've all been here for 11 years. All of the grips and the, and the carpenters and the craft service and uh, props and the camera people. We're very, very close, and uh, that's going to be that's going to be very hard. I've heard from friends who have been on long-running shows and left them. The routine, which is a a cheap word for a very complicated event, which is the routine of every day, seeing all these people and interacting with them all creatively and also just personally. Uh, and so, of course, all the people. It's not just the cast. It's everybody. It's really. It's a. It's a. It's like a complex organism here that's dying. It's not just, you know, a show going off the air. The ritual's pretty loose here. Uh, we show up, we get it done as quickly as possible, we go home, uh, because everybody has a life outside of here. But the life we have here is a life of, of discovery and joy and, and emotionality and sharing and uh, caring for one another. And all of those things are what I'll miss. Frazier has left the building.